Welcome to our Q3 market snapshot and what a difference just a few months can make in the world of property. If we rewind back to the March-April period, our friends in the media were predicting a 20% decline in property values on the back of the COVID-19 pandemic. If we roll forward to the July and September period, the Perth property market has not only recovered, but it has excelled from a buyer's market to a seller's market for the first time since 2014. Let's look at what has caused this. The Perth rental market has experienced a significant tightening with tenants staying put and extending leases. This combined with a large proportion of West Australians returning home from either overseas or interstate has seen our vacancy rate plummet to a 12 year low, currently sitting at 1.3%. Leasing days are noticeably faster, taking just a median of 19 days to lease a property through September. When rental markets strengthen, sales markets generally follow, and that history has continued over the third quarter. The renters of tomorrow are being forced to look at buying due to increasing rents and a shortage of options. This combined with cheap money, cash incentives from the government, and the inability to spend money outside of WA has caused a significant jump in demand. Listing numbers are down 20% from this time last year, so the current demand is clearly outweighing the supply, and that's when price movement happens. Although the pandemic has been a shocking event around the globe, WA has and looks like it will continue to do well from this. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you at the end of the year.